Hi guys, uh, welcome back after like long period of time. I was uh, building my Fleet version of M54. I didn't make videos like from A to Z because I was doing videos from A to Z on other channel. Uh, but what happened during that time? Um, when I was having my 2.5, which is here now, I'm using some parts for other projects. Uh, on some point, I had uh, my ECU remapped, so I sent my old one. The guy uh, sent me different one with some tweaks, right? And what happened when I plug it in? I noticed that after like two weeks of time, I noticed that this valve it doesn't work. So when you starting your car, when you cranking the engine, everything starts. This stays open, which should be closed at low RPM and should be open at higher RPM, which is like 4000 RPM. And what happened? I did notice that the DISA actually shuts the flap like this now at higher RPM, which is like reverse process, which is like opposite, right? So I was thinking, uh, well, internet first, and I found like few, few people uh, complaining about the same stuff. So I was trying few bits and pieces like uh, direct 12 volts to the socket, to the uh, to the pins, right? And it did work. So the, the this actually it works. And I was doing my project with fleet version, and I thought, when I'm gonna swap the engine. I'm gonna leave the ECU from 2.5. You saw the other video, which was a startup with 2.5 software. Still, later on, I had uh, to change that, and I started the car, and the DISA was still not working. So I thought that must be something to do with the ECU. So what I did on on the link below, you got the uh, Bavarian um, and beyond, I think. I don't remember sorry about that that there's a link how to unlock the ECU EWS how to unlock that to actually uh, upload whatever you want uh, for MS 43 with uh, 0 56 0 56 uh, software which is the end free end numbers and what I did I just uh, re-upload the same uh, version of the ECU software for three liter version and it start to work so I don't know maybe uh, you guys didn't do any tweaks or, or most to your ECU but some people saying that they did disconnect the battery they did this and that they swapped the ECU for a different one just like because that was dead so uh, my advisory is to try that method which is actually unlocking and re-uploading the same software or actually modded one you have all the like instructions on the link below the guy giving you all the instructions how to do it if you don't know how to do it you can just um, ask somebody on the forum it's not actually that much complicated it looks scary on the beginning but after you gonna uh, delete the EWS you can do many nice things what I did it's like uh, some tweaks on the map on the fuel map also on the throttle uh, response so it's quite good quite nice to drive the fleet version of that and I think that's the easiest way to fix the DISA problem because I tried everything nothing worked Actually, the valve was okay. I got brand new one. Most of the engine parts on on, on this one is brand new, and that was the software version uh, problem. It wasn't like uh, some people thought that's some kind of problem with a uh, ground of the uh, of the uh, wiring loom. That's why I called the video uh, ground problem because it's most common like a uh, search type of thing. On Google so yeah uh, re-uploading the stock or modded map to your 
um, issue and I think 99% or even 100% that's gonna work. So thanks for watching and see you next time.